In this study, we wanted to pick up on something which I think hadn't been addressed so well in earlier studies. Um, most previous studies into solar engineering assume that it's deployed to offset all warming. Um, and these studies have demonstrated that it's clearly not a substitute for emissions cuts. It um, is imperfect. And one of the big ways that it's imperfect in terms of its climate response is that it leads to a substantial weakening of the hydrological cycle. Uh, under global warming, we expect uh, temperatures to rise, but also to increase the intensity of the hydrological cycle. There's going to be more precipitation and more evaporation. If you offset all warming with solar geoengineering, you end up with temperature back to normal, but the hydrological cycle, you've gone too far, it's weakened. And so we wondered if you went only halfway, you would push the hydrological cycle more towards where it used to be without overshooting. And so in previous studies, people had pointed out some regional patterns, some regional reductions in rainfall, and highlighted them as problems of silage engineering. And the question we had, were these problems of having too much of a good thing, or were these examples of where silage engineering had made things worse just from the beginning? Uh, so we looked into that.